the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. May our Lord be with you. We call to mind our sins. Lord Jesus, you came to reconcile us to one another and the Father. Lord, have mercy. You heal the wounds of sin, division. Christ, have mercy. You intercede for us with your Father. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sin and bring us to everlasting life. And we pray, O oh God, who crowned with the gift of true faith, St. Elizabeth Ann Seton's burning zeal to find you. Grant by her intercession and example that we may always seek you with diligent love and find you in daily service with sincere faith. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. In the first letter of John, children, let us deceive no one, let no one deceive you. The person who acts in righteousness is righteous, just as he is righteous. Whoever sins belongs to the devil, because the devil has sinned from the beginning. Indeed, the Son of God was revealed to destroy the works of the devil. No one who is begotten by God commits sin. Because God's seed remains in him. He cannot sin because he is begotten by God. In this way, the children of God and the children of the devil are made plain. No one who fails to act in righteousness belongs to God, nor anyone who does not love his brother. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of God. Sing to the Lord a new song. He has done wondrous deeds. His right hand has won victory for him, his holy arm. Let the sea and what fills it resound, the world and those who dwell in it. Let the rivers clap their hands, the mountains shout with them for joy before the Lord. Lord comes, he comes to rule the earth. He'll rule the world with justice and the peoples with equity. May our Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. John was standing with two of his disciples, and as he watched Jesus walk by, he said, Behold, the Lamb of God. The two disciples heard what he said and followed Jesus. Jesus turned, saw them following him, and he said, What are you looking for? They said to him, Rabbi, which is translated teacher, where are you staying? He said, You come, and you will see. So they went and saw where he was staying, and they stayed with him that day. It was about four in the afternoon. Andrew, the brother of Simon Peter, was one of the two who heard John and followed Jesus. He first went and found his own brother, Simon, and told him, We have found the Messiah, which is translated Christ. Then he brought him to Jesus. Jesus looked at him and said, You are Simon, son of John. From now on, you'll be called Cephas, which is rendered Peter. The Gospel of the Lord. <coughs> so we had another COVID casualty last week that you probably don't know anything about. It's called a Project Andrew dinner or gathering, call it what you want, always held the week between Christmas and New Year. And it's named after Andrew. And it's a program where priests, me, any priest, are encouraged to find 
and invite, recruit might be a better word, but invite young men that we think uh, we might see, let's say, signs of a possible vocation to priesthood and religious life to this dinner downtown and give them a chance to meet the bishop and maybe meet other young men who would form a, oh, let's call it supportive environment that you're not the only one who maybe is thinking that could God be calling me to be a priest. And it's a nice dinner and you get to meet guys from all over the diocese, Williamsport, Sayre, whatever, places I rarely go. And uh, it's, it's a nice event. Well, because of COVID, nobody was going to have a gathering. Sometimes there's quite a few people at this, but that got postponed, maybe next year. But it, it, it plays off of that gospel. Andrew met Jesus, and then he went and he told his brother. And together, a movement begins. And, and there's a lesson to be learned in that. Like, we have a beautiful billboard down on Main Avenue. Very well done. We got a lot of publicity for it. And that might help bring people to Jesus. It, it might. Certainly worth doing. We can put magnets on your refrigerator door. We can make, they can be made at a, any number of places around here. You can put the calendars on your uh, corkboard at home with the name of the church and mass schedule time. And those are all good things. Those, those are good things. But the personal approach of going and finding someone and saying, come with me. If you don't know how to go to church, come with me. If you've never been introduced to church, come with me. If you've fallen away from church, come with me. Those things are far more valuable than in a, you know, a beautifully done billboard or a promotional item like a calendar. Those things are nice, but nothing works like, come here. You come with me and, and I'll show you what you need to give you life and joy. That's what works, the personal approach. It worked there. Peter became the first pope and the rest is history. Do we not have the courage to go and invite people to come with us? To come back with us? If not, then, then we are not doing our job as, as leaders of the church to teach you how and why to do that. B billboards come and go. Personal approach is the only way that works long term. Are we up to the challenge? Let us stand, my friends, and we'll offer our petitions to Almighty God. That the faith of our church may be a star that guides everyone, everywhere, to come to Christ. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer for our nation in this new year, these troubled times. Be filled with good health and peace. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer for the containment and eradication of the COVID-19 virus. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer for all those who have asked us to pray for them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer for all who have died. This liturgy in particular we call Harry Kirby, that all our deceased will have rest and peace in heaven. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. My friends, our own intentions in silence. Well, God, late now in this Christmas season, help us to continue to work for peace, justice, showing mercy, and inviting others to you. We make all of our prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen.
Pray, friends, that my sacrifice and yours be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. O Lord, we ask that you look graciously upon our gifts placed on your altar in celebration of St. Elizabeth Ann Seton. Grant by the power at work in this sacrifice that they may be more deeply inserted into the mystery of your Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. May the Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For today you reveal the mystery of our salvation in Christ as a light for the nations. And when he appeared in our mortal nature, you have made us new by the glory of his immortal nature. And so with angels, archangels, thrones, minions, and all the hosts and powers of heaven, we praise you as we say, Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. <coughs> you are indeed holy, O Lord, and the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body, the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. It was the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread. And giving thanks, he broke it. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. Similar way, when supper ended, he took a chalice. Once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, drink from it. This is the chalice of my blood, the blood of a new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity of Francis, our Pope Joseph, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, all who died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and praise you and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. And in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may always be free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. 
graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. Let's share with those around us a sign of Christ's peace. Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. Only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. As we partake of this sacrament of our celebration, recalling the memory of St. Elizabeth Ann Seton, we humbly ask you, Lord, that we may be inflamed with a burning desire for your heavenly table, and by its power consecrate our lives faithfully to you. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Lord be with you. Mighty God bless us and all of our families, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Our liturgy ends, we go in peace, glorifying God with our lives. Thanks be to God.